What is popping, y'all? Welcome to High Vibrational Kings. This is a channel for people that want to better themselves in life. Shout out to anybody holding on to their energy, breaking bad addictions, and trying to become a better version of themselves. So I'm over here in the creek right now, and I'm gonna just make a quick video for y'all. So I just came out here because, you know, I was just bored at home, and uh, you know, I started feeling stagnant, so I had to start moving. So I came out here in the creek, you know, just to get away from you know, the everyday life of uh, just things like that, you know. But so yeah, I came to the creek to like try to find somewhere to relax, right? You know, just reconnect with nature, just uh, spend some time by the water. And I wanted to make a video on how every day is a spiritual battle when you're on retention. So. The reason why every day is a spiritual battle is because you're constantly one thought away from a totally different uh, action. Like your thoughts, everything start, starts off as a thought that turns into an action that turns into your reality. So the way that it's like a spiritual battle is that every day, you know, you have the choice, you have the will to, you know, do good or do bad. You know, it's you, like you constantly have like the angel and the devil on your shoulder and it's like a tug of war in the spiritual world. So like, yeah, for some reason, like last night I had like trouble sleeping. I just kept like, all of a sudden I just had started having like these weird thoughts, like these lustful thoughts. And it was like at night, you know, I was just trying to go to sleep, but I still had like that energy. So I was just kind of laying there in bed and you guys got to be careful, you know, you just got to ignore these uh, you know these like lustful thoughts right um, because I remember one time a while ago I literally woke up at night and I just had like this tugging feeling like not literally but like like I was thinking like I just randomly woke up and I had like this thought to like go watch like you know the hub and then I just kept trying to go back to sleep but I just kept, for some reason, I had that in my mind. And like, like I said, you have to maintain your frame when you're on retention because you manifest a lot of things twice as fast because you're in that flow state. So whatever you think, whether it's good or bad, you can manifest it a lot quicker. So uh, yeah, so that a long, a while ago when I, when I started having like that thought, I gave in and you know, I just like went on my phone and you know just started like watching like all this nonsense and then you know i didn't realize relapse right there but i uh you know i just planted that image in my mind and like you know i went back to sleep after that and then literally like a couple days later i relapsed so uh that was like you know don't don't like give in to to like urges or just negative thoughts let them let them pass over you um, because you know the urges will make you stronger in the end uh, it's all about like self-discipline and just like uh, how do you say like having power over yourself you know not letting external things control your life because uh, literally right so right now <clears throat> I'm in the creek and I was just walking around you know trying to find a good spot to shoot a video but the water was like really loud so like I, I started walking a little bit more <laughs> and tell me guys the first thing that I see when I look over is some chick like in a bikini like with her ass sticking out and her ratchet friend is like taking a picture of her behind like some like this wall like a little graffiti wall um, that's like the first thing that I see like when I pop out of the fucking out of the woods or out of these trees the first thing I see is like an ass right there and I'm like what the fuck? I'm like, oh, I'm like, what? It was just like so random. And, you know, I looked once and I just kept walking and I looked over again and she was even bent down even more like with her ass like sticking out in the air and her friend like taking like pictures or videos probably for like her Instagram or her OnlyFans and all this BS. But what's hilarious or not really hilarious guys, but it's kind of messed up is they had a little ass girl right there with them. Like, I don't know if it was her daughter or somebody, because it was like a group of three girls, this fat chick that was like bending over, like posing in a bikini, 
showing off her ass. And then there was a little girl right there just like standing there while they were doing all that ratchet shit. And I'm just like, damn, like that's crazy. I, and after that, I just kept walking. I just maintained my frame, came over to this spot to shoot this video. But I'm just thinking like, man, you can't escape lust anywhere. Like even in nature, like, like these freaking, like lust is everywhere, guys. Like, so that's why it's important to just like, be stoic in certain situations don't don't let like your thoughts or uh things like trigger you into a relapse you know everything starts off as a thought but don't let it manifest if, especially if it's bad don't let it manifest out into reality because then that's when you know things will go bad and uh when you over like when you have power over your thoughts you have power over your life so don't let your thoughts control you. You gotta maintain your frame. And yeah, I just, <laughs> I just thought that was hilarious, guys. Like, wow, like, what are the odds, you know? I'm just over here, like, trying to get away from the matrix. And then the first thing that I see is, like, some thought just bending over, like, like, I don't wanna see that bullshit. Like, it's, it's just, it's funny, guys. Like, my perspective on things are so different now. Like, me back then, I would've probably just been, like, staring like 20 times but you know since i've been holding on to my energy i'm not in my lust anymore and i'm just more in my masculine frame i see that and i just almost started like laughing because i was like what the hell is that like <laughs> like people are actually thirsty like i don't know these these modern women are crazy guys like you guys you guys got to retain your energy guys because there's two types of guys out here in the world right now they're the the 99%, which are the depleted coomers, the ones that are fapping on the hub all the time, you know, just depleting their energy on some dark shit. And then there's the 1%, which are the people that are actually retaining their energy, not trying to go with the crowd of what's being pushed out into society of that we have to constantly be releasing. We have to, you know, be looking at them digital cheeks or uh, all this nonsense that's just just being all this trash that's just being pushed out into society that's making men weak that's making women masculine and you know you got to take back your power and retaining your energy and being productive with it working out being out in nature using it more productively it will change your life and it will change the way you see things it will change the way you see people because like when i was looking at those girls they just look trash. They just look trashy. They just look like low grade women. But to other people too, the depleted coomers, they'd be like, damn, she's bad. Like, she ain't bad. She's bad for you, man. She's bad for your soul. But you don't have a damn soul because you're constantly depleting of your of your energy. So you're not even connected to the most high. You know what I'm saying? Like when you hold on to your energy, guys, you become more spiritual. You become more like connected with like you know the universe god righteousness the things of this uh things internally you know all this external things in this world is not even gonna phase you anymore it's gonna be like you're gonna not even want to like associate with it that's why it's important to just be a king in your own world and don't really focus on the outer world because it's crazy man like all these agendas and shit that are just like because you know people weren't like this back then it's all this people are systematically being programmed into behaving certain ways and they don't even know it you know lust is one of like the most powerful you know things that are like that are controlling people nowadays since like high, the high speed internet came out and stuff it has like warped men's uh view on everything it has desensitized them from life it has desensitized them from a lot of things so they're out here walking around with no spirit just drained looking at women objectively and then the women out here uh think that that's what men want so it's just like it's like a messed up situation so the, the way that we fix that guys is by focusing back onto ourselves because if every guy started practicing retention, stopped focusing on females and just went within, there would be like a, a whole like 
a drastic shift in consciousness like in like people would just like people would uh how do you say like men would be like back into the, their masculine frame and then women wouldn't be you know like how they are right now because these low-grade men are gassing these low low-grade women up so we have to take back our power and we have to you know forget about the things out in the matrix honestly guys stay away from social media because that's just bullshit like it it's i don't know guys like ever since i've been retaining i can't stand like social media anymore it's just really irritating and it seems like so artificial like i'm just more connected to just doing natural things um you know youtube is only the basically the only thing that i use but other than that i'm just like trying to stay away from all this artificial technology like screw all that metaverse shit and all this robotic nonsense nonsense being pushed out to like because this is real this is reality right here this ain't no artificial bs so yeah guys just uh get back to nature don't don't let lust control you and uh yeah guys i think i'm gonna just end it with that because the sun is like really beating down on me now <laughs> but i just wanted to make a video real quick and share that funny experience that i just like ran into right now so uh let me know what you guys think about that uh maintain your frame retain gang Woo! all right guys i'll see you guys in the next one make sure to like comment and subscribe peace